I moved into my role as a nursing associate back in January 2017. I was a healthcare assistant six months prior to that, after coming away from being a student nurse in 2010, and then my family took over. So I then carried on as a healthcare assistant and then Leeds Teaching Hospitals gave the opportunity to step up to become a training nurse and associate. So I took the position in January 2017, did a two year trainee course and became a registered nurse and associate in January 2019, where I joined the register, the Nursing Midwifery Council and had completed with a foundation degree with a merit. So the journey from registered nurse and associate for the transition to a registered nurse, I joined the condensed two year course with the University of Leeds Beckett, which worked alongside Leeds Teaching Hospitals. Throughout the two years that's condensed, I will be going on placements. Going forward, the course will become a three year transition from registered nurse and associate to registered nurse. To become a member of the Nursing Midwifery Council to get my registration when completing the Nursing Associate Programme, I had to complete the Functional Skills Level 2 course to have accredited equivalent of a GCSE for the English and Maths. Without that, I couldn't have registered with the NMC. A typical day for myself would involve taking part for the handover, which happens morning and night. I take part in the board round, which involves members of the multidisciplinary team, such as the physios, occupational health therapists. I have involvement with the palliative care team, as we have a lot of end-of-life patients. So I have a lot of involvement with those for the patient's benefit, as well as the relative. With it being a head and neck oncology ward, we have a lot of patients that are enteral fed. So I have a lot of involvement with the nasogastric tubes and the tubes that go into the stomach. I do medications on our ward. That happens three times a day while I'm on shift. I have involvement with the IV antibiotics and control drugs to help with symptom management when a patient requires. After being on the ward for, for four years, I have a lot of knowledge and skills that are specific to my speciality, so head and neck oncology. So that helps with the care that I deliver to the patients and their relatives. I can delegate when required to other members of the team to ensure we collaboratively work together. And I have good time management skills. Personally, I bring to my role empathy, wanting to succeed and be the best that I can be. I always look at the patient and their relative holistically. So I look at the full picture, not just what is actually wrong with the patient. And I would always ensure that patient-centred care is delivered in the way that I would expect either myself or my relatives to be cared for. From a recent leadership course that I had the chance to take part in, I gained experience with the effective communication skills that you need to have when speaking to other members of staff, students, and members of the multidisciplinary team to as high as consultants, registrars. I think even more so at the moment with the current pandemic, wearing a mask really restricts you when you are verbalising with a member of staff. They can't see if you're smiling with them. So I think the way that you approach them, the way that you um, the way that you stand, your body posture, and ensuring that eye contact is maintained at all times, um, ensures that you are fully engaged with the person that you are speaking to. What I enjoyed most about my role is the variety. No day is the same on my ward. We have a lot of patients that are, are sadly with us for quite some time. Some don't always make it out of the hospital. But what is lovely is that we get to build a rapport with the patient and their relative. They're not just a patient. We can get to know their life story. We can get to build trust with them, which is really nice. There is a lot of progression within my role. And I couldn't imagine myself doing another career. This is where my heart lies and particularly in oncology. For anyone that's wanting to follow the same journey as myself, I would advise it. It is very challenging at times, but it is very rewarding. You need to ensure that you have the time management skills and the passion. If you have those, you will go far in your nursing career.